It's so loud. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I was like, I, I wasn't getting audio. It's just that the music cut out. <laughs> there it is. Jesus. What the hell? Why are my frames so bad? It's just not very well. It's just hard to find. Yeah, oh, I gotta turn off the desktop audio on here. So everyone can hear the 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 noise it makes. Oh, it also wants me to plug in Steam VR. I'm just brushing my teeth, bro. Is there different cameras? <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> I hit one and then it <laughs> it jump scared me. It jump scared you. But good to know. <laughs> Why do I hear walking? Oh wait, I can walk. Oh, what the? <laughs> All right, Nathan, what'd you buy me? <laughs> Why is the mouse on screen now? <laughs> I have a health bar now? Oh my god, this is so goddamn loud. I can't hear myself think. What the heck? Jesus Christ. I can't hear myself think. It's so goddamn loud. Yeah, I still hear the freaking. What the hell? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Alright, I'm on fire, I guess? Oh, I'm dying! Maybe I should die. I'm dead. I lost all my health.
tap to press tab to play. I feel like I had a drug trip. playing a deep game <laughs> outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk <laughs> a bag outside a, a bag outside of a bag outside of a milk awesome yeah the first game was good this game is actually like animated no it actually like had like some dark concepts why won't this capture the game oh because it's not full screen Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's so goddamn loud. So loud, game. It's so loud. It doesn't, it's not a different resolution. No, what? That that game was a trip and a half. You know, you know why it feels real. Yeah. Did you get to the part where you prayed? No. You get you can go to the front of the of hell and pray. I don't know what the did didn't did do anything, but I'm not sure if that's a game or Oh yeah. I don't know if I can change that now. I like the freedom is feels real and then I hear <laughs> Yeah. Bag of milk outside of bag of milk.
Playful shadows dance around me here and there. They dash all over the walls and ceiling. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, playing, being alone in the line. Alright, this like the original game, which is straight up about someone that just had a gun in an accident. I think. And I think it was an accident. And then they only could see red. Or is their dad's dead or something? And they like they had like a something something help happen happen that time to them, and then they see like amalgam amalgamations of people. So all the people you meet were actually real people, but in the game they weren't. They're like weird people. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self control and track of time, spinning and turning and dance. But I'm in a bit of hurry here. About told me to go to bed. Is she now? Did she also tell you to go get a bag of milk? I pa passed the kitchen on the way to my room, but the door is shut. I can still feel the chilling air coming up from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing mockingly. Ah, that's so silly. Silly. I'm absolutely sure there's no corpses in our kitchen. I know such that. We've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure of that. Sure. I break into a run and dash towards the closed door. The shadows intensify in their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I wave my hands around as I run, trying to chase away my my annoying pursuers, but then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I've got another, no other chance but to break the door down. There's someone inside. I'm surely scared them to death. But wait, how can I scared scared to death someone who's already dead? What? What if it actually revives them? No, no, no. I don't want to do that. What do I do? This is how the first game was. It was so trippy. I couldn't completely. I couldn't fully complete my thought when I shouldered and hit the door and flew it open. And it flew open. As I expected, there was no living corpses inside, but there's a bag of milk I bought today. Sitting right in the middle of the table watching me as its unblinking eyes, I stare back. Nothing happens. Okay, so this is right after the first game when you get back home. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done totally no worries in it? A big milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf in the store or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink a ma milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world and put it into a scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. Alright. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry or I'll bring others trouble. I walked towards my door through a narrow corridor. Yeah, it's mother. Hello. I see a familiar, formless creature at the door. It locks me into his clutches and starts shifting every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. Mother, dearest. After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds on its ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Again, I stare questionly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. Don't move. There's a creeper squeezing my hands through its veins, bulging and starts bulging. I start staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. I promise so many times. I don't know what's happening. I literally don't know what's happening. Is the mom injecting me with some medicine or something? Or knocking me out with narcotics? The moment I says, the claw pierces my arms. My arm. I don't feel anything other than that. This room will be crawling under my skin and the ring of the And then the claw injects its venom into me. Yep, and she's injecting something through a needle into me. It hurts. While the vein appears to be to move 
my eyes. The fingers cramped and started twitching frantically. I lose control of my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time. But, no. Why? Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell. All my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from that pressure. I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, foaming fluid. The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poison claw inside me. Kill me, kill me. Okay, never mind. My mom's trying to kill me? Maybe? Hysterical screams resound through the corridor. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. Bright slushes fly everywhere, hitting the walls in loud screams. I try to imprint where every drop in my memory is so I can gather them all later. I think it's blood. I need to remember. I need to. The new wave of pain vanishes over me. Everything turns pitch black in an instant. Okay, this is, say it. I will never drink milk again. I say it. Why? Why can't I drink milk? What's so evil about milk? I'll never drink milk ever again. Yeah? I say it again. I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again. And do I have like an allergic reaction to milk or something? Like, what the hell happened? Or did I drink the milk? I don't know what happened. Why Why did I start foaming? I, did I have an allergic reaction? Or I had something, something happened. I get to my room. I'm so tired of all this bus. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Where's the milk machine? Uh, I think I drank some, and then I had an allergic reaction, and then my mom was like <laughs> trying so to you kill me. A girl allergic to milk? That's crazy. I have no clue because I'm I'm trying to remember based on the last game. The last game, you can't tell what's happening because like her her mind's all fucky wucky. And so, like, half the stuff you just have no idea if it's real or not. Can you give me another one of these? Oh, I eat them. I'm hungry. Yeah. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside don't make me anxious at all. Yeah, your mom put freaking drugs in your brain so you won't have... A fucking chaotic episode, I guess. She put she put you in the chill pill. Ellen told me to go to bed, and I need to perform all the necessary preparations. I've watched... I have, don't know if she's allergic to milk. She just... I guess she had milk, and then started foaming from the mouth, and then her mom injected her with a needle of something, and then she started having, like, a... I think she started having a seizure, and then her mom injected something into her. I have no clue what happened in the last scene. But it was portrayed as her mom trying to kill her. Because that's what she saw. <laughs> I washed my face and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in, in my face. I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. I mean, there was a time when the last minutes before I went to sleep were my favorite time of the day. I was anticipating the inevitable moment of when the reality and the dream world would clash. Alright, relatively deep. Um. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I woke up for that. For that moment's sake, lived through the day for it. The biggest dream was to sleep at all, all day long. It was so cool. But the dreams always slowly but surely slipped away. This game has so much more detail, too. 
I was so unfinished them out of, fished them out of my head one after another, one after another. Until nothing was left. And now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. A kitchen. Ah, look at all the drugs I need that never work. I usually read out for my pills, it's funny. I have no idea how they work separately since I always swallow them as a bunch without thinking. You should not. <laughs> she just she just takes a handful of drugs and just drinks and eats them and then takes them. Now I want to have a better look at it. The throw it between my fingers to chew on it. Ew, chewing on pills? Ugh, this sounds gross. But I'll do anything to stall just for a little bit more time. The smooth protruded red capsules looking at me. It's covered in the murky semi-transparent -trans film, but I can still discern its contents. So what, we, so what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides, and to my surprise, it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder, and the capsule pops, sticky, bright red liquid pours out. Filthy, filthy. Okay, this is like a little kid in like... The pill flies straight into the waste bin, and I start rigorously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. Next was the flat pill, the same blood color, blood red color. There were some letters printed on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy, but I'm not the type of sleep I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't want to look at it. The pill flies into the waste bin as well. The next half hour, going through the similar fashion, I study every pill from its sides and then find a reason not to swallow it. I bit my own medicine instead and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting my myself drown in their healing effects. Hey, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> Hey, my eyes don't hurt anymore. How come I didn't think of this earlier? It's so, it's so simple. I need to brag about to someone right away. Well, not to my mom. She always just she'll just scold me, and she'll she's sure I'm already sleeping anyways. I don't want to disturb her without reason. I think I think I'm sleeping myself. Besides, I really just want some small talk. I wonder who's going to be my conversation partner. Just where I come in. With the character. Hey. Yep. I'm the monitor in your head. Hey, long time no see. <laughs> yeah, th okay, so it is just going right after the first game. I don't know if she is. She might be. I don't know, because in the first game, like, she, like, made me up. So, like, she would have someone to talk to that wasn't a monster. I don't know. There you go, boy, me again. Uh-oh, I should have done that. There's a, there was a good and bad ending. I do a little bit happy, not even the slightest bit. need to go to bed. No, he's been in the control for way too long already. It's my turn now. Alright. I'll just <laughs> stay silent through the medicine effects more off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you at all. Uh, so I guess I already did the bad ending. <laughs> So I said I can feel great, which means I can do anything. And you, I think so. There wasn't the first game. Essentially, if you were like an asshole to her, if you there was a bad ending. Yeah, imagine making up your own friend that your friend was an asshole to her. Like, damn, that's pretty. Even in your imagination, you hear them say. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. 
Uh, I, I want to see if there's a bad ending. Uh, or at least see if there's a there's multiple endings. I, I kind of figured. But 20 to 30 minutes of gameplay. There's five different endings! Okay, I'm just gonna keep playing and then see. <laughs> I can imagine how angry you are right now. Yeah, besides myself. Uh, by the way, sorry. Don't even try ruining my mood. I just want to have fun while we're together, alright? <laughs> it's like you're the one going the shots. Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see, yeah. Oh, yeah, because in the first game, I was just, I was calling all the shots. Hmm, I... Am I really that pathetic? Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin, and then falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. That was fast, but not unexpected. Hey, at least I tried. Go wash your face, and we'll decide what to do with you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh my god. She looks dead inside. I'm in front of the mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by this nearly look. Looks the walls are giving me, trying not to drown in their giggling. But then in the mirror, also shows me a creepy smile. Bear. Bears her teeth at me. I shut my eyes, and I, that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I sunk to through the floor. I start counting my head. S two squared, two by two squared, a squared, squared, a squared, pyramid squared, a s pyramidal structure cubed, a pyramidal structure hypercube. I feel better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but my head is splitting apart now. Sorry for being rude. It's not your fault. It's never your fault. Fine, but you can, you can keep blaming on yourself, but just don't overdo it. I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control and I was almost ready to. I was sure I would be able to change something. After all, I'm able to buy milk, you know? Yeah, you, you ought to know how challenging it was. <laughs> that is true. She could buy milk by herself. That's why you threw away. What a stupid decision, right? It was your decision. Does it even matter? Yeah. Somehow I feel that it's hard to believe. Then why did you do it? I felt like I'd be able to fight it on my own. It's true, the pain subsides for a bit at that time. But now I can feel the triple in force. It hurt so bad. You know what to do. Digested, I reach out for the shelf with my medicine. I swallow the pills one after another, chasing the unpleasant visions that float in up my memory. And yet, my mind still draws a terrifying picture lumps of coagulated blood and transparent coating traveling down my esophagus, stretching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I shake my head violently, and I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worse, my pain. Worsens my pain, I just don't want to think about something so repulsive you still haven't changed what do you mean you're afraid to be of being alone this is worries you more than just pain yeah i guess i toss the pills in the air and catch it with my mouth i like her t-shirt or her hoodie I lie on the floor, I look at the ceiling, I can clearly hear water running in the metal pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete that, that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that, I can't imagine my death coming from above, rather it's wearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. Talk about it. 
No, I've had enough of talking. Okay. <laughs> okay. What do you want then? I, I just want to lie down for a bit. Even if the ceiling, the ceiling is bound to collapse, it won't today. Can you stay silent, please? I need to get my thoughts in order. <laughs> okay. Good plan. <laughs> I carefully direct thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lay them out on the ceiling in orderly rows. Now it's my cork board. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch the, switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off and off with my hand, annoyed, and start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. You know, I hate cockroaches. How can I make them fireflies? I don't mind either way. Hey, that was an ending. I think. I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts, they're fireflies now, start whirling around the ceiling with their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just, that moment doesn't come. The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling makes me losing my patience. Enough! I hate you! She hates her thoughts, I guess. Feel that. I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The sky, the fireflies scatter. Good job. Now start over. No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. <laughs> so that doesn't bother you, should it? Ah! And uh, a lot of people act like this. Really? There's nothing shameful about snapping at someone, if you have a reason for that. You did have a reason, didn't you? <laughs> you surely get <laughs> you surely get better, believe me. And now start over. You're at it again. Never mind. <laughs> I'll change my mind anyways. Please don't stay silent for the long this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. <laughs> Raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. I glance around the room. And there's too many places for a creature as small as a firefly to hide in here. They can be anywhere. Suddenly, I hear a deafening rumble. The clock is just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me, please? Please tell me you'll help me. Come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What are you thinking about? What do you mean? You should know better than that, that but not anyone else. I have no idea. This is weird. You tell me. Do ho chu doi. Okay. <laughs> she was being choked. It cut to a scene of her being choked. I rolled my I rolled my sleeves, rubbing my eyes intensely. They're so itchy. Why are you crying? My eyes are itchy. Did you drink milk? I wonder if I tear out my eyelashes one after another, will my eyes stop itching? I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another, all my eyelashes one after another, if I will tear, if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another. What have you done? I need to gather the glass and, and then then I have to be, uh, have a bath and then here drink some milk no I stand in the middle of the room my mouth agape gasping for air I think I just experienced death I don't know of any other way to explain what happened oh most recent first death I died and felt something oh that's an achievement I died I somehow killed her. Her blood is on your hands, Gabe. 
I don't know. I just next thing I know, she's. <laughs> live this down forever. Wait, Gabe's a murderer. Gabe's a murderer. I don't know what happened. I'm so confused. <laughs> Well, that was surely something. Will you tell me or not? Girls be like, I can change him. <laughs> About what? Let's look for the fireflies instead. You're acting weird. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before, but... I don't know what I did to cause her to die! I'm so confused! <laughs> no! Oh... No! Before that, she just like had an episode and then died. And I thought my thoughts were hiding from me. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 no. Uh, if I make an, even the smallest messes in your alphabet, all the things should stay in their places and that's it. Why? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't want and I want. So I need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a, inside a mountain of junk without moving anything even an inch. Oh, my, my oh my. I have an idea. Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Oh, that's true, yeah. So now I want to become a point and click adventure game character. <laughs> that's what this game has become. You know, those games that have moments when you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens? It sounds so fun. The. Okay, the first game had, like, no art style. Like, it was very, like. Scary, scary. This is so childish. You know what? The best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh, yes. I start panicking as soon as I get into a multiple choice situation. I just keep changing my mind and I'm crying and running away. <laughs> Dude, what? Do you want that to happen? You already proven that you that you are able to make decisions why not continue that run i got into the middle of the room and look around where, where would i hide if i were a tiny fighter fly uh that's so thrilling my heart is getting warmer from the pleasant end of decisions hey look down i looked down after a moment i saw people the right footer wow we wow we i'm gonna repeat wow we because wow we is a thing <gasps> Firefly! NPC approaches you. We'll get to that later. That's a good one. NPC approaches you with the quest of joining of joining tabletop club. But basically, but basically, what you do is what? That he hasn't played D and D for months. Join tabletop club. <laughs> I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. <coughs> this is an order of uh, drifts up, circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear. The speed of a bullet. This show. Yeah, this show. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. I have no idea how close I am. Nobody gives me points. I'm not going to watch this because I don't want to watch it. Um, but I. By a comfortable, I've you mean horny. No. I've and this is my sleeping bed. It's soft. Uncomfortable. It was horny, but I lived with 
must do all works as a time for it to be. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, and I regretted it. Because I didn't know what I was getting into when I first started watching. Because <laughs> I had no idea about anything. Let's continue searching. Hey, maybe we'll find something inside. No, my thoughts are... Don't have a feature of putting this to sleep. Okay. Laptop. I look at my laptop. I haven't touched it for years, so it's not discovered a layer of dust is sticking to my finger. Is there an item I fear it? Why? It's a long and boring story. Wonderful. Tell me about it. I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably brought it in here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Sure, I spent my whole days in front of the screen. Games, drawings, engineering, calculator, 3D modeling. So much fun stuff to do. You know, using hobbies. Yeah, I did. Before entering the web. Imagine this. You're a hamster that lives on the ground. You have everything you're comfortable for living. Did you imagine? As always, your analogies are spot on. Okay, I imagine. Alright, so you're a hamster that lives on the ground. You're having everything comfortable with living, okay? Wonderful. And there's a situation. You're a hamster that lives. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Do you want... Yeah. You're returning to the subject anyways. On the... On the one wonderful day, someone digs up digs you off from the hamster house and brings you to, you to the pet store. Now your new home is a cage. It's way more comfortable and warm compared to the underground. And the most important part, you have a lot of neighbors here. The cages are identical to yours and the other hamsters look identical to you too. That means you're all the same, apart from the fact that you were born at the shop. You'll ask, what does it indicate and tell me? And they'll tell you nothing at all. I forgot what I was talking about. Okay, let's start over. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not at fault here, so. I had a lot of friends online, hundreds, tens, hundreds of them. Impossible to count. Is it impossible, though? I, I had exactly 370 of them. Although, I guess nobody counts the exact number of hamsters they took walk. They walk into a pet store. Hey, don't get distracted. Alright. From 370, 68 of. 68 were in the gaming, just like me. 130 of them like drawing, just like me. And the remaining 190 were into calculators and 3D modeling equally. When I say equally, I, I don't mean that 95 and, and a half friends on each side. Alright? You can split numbers evenly, no problem, but math doesn't work like that when it comes to friends. A major conundrum, right? What the hell is this game? I knew, of course that no real person exists on the web. I also understand that all my friends die the moment I turn off my laptop. <laughs> oh jeez, but I still wasn't even a bit worried. Why? Do you know what computer programs consist of? It's just a combination of numbers, which means my friends are also numbers. Isn't that amusing? Why do you call them your friends? Like, I mean, everyone who shares my interest is my friend. And I don't care whether they know about my existence or not. Anyways, as I was saying, every program has its own algorithm and purpose, its mathematical formula. And if you solve that formula, you'll be able to predict the program's behavior for any moment. And just like if you I follow. You don't need to follow me, understand? Just listen. I sit on the floor, and as the laptop screen ends up right in front of me, the only thing that's reflected is my dead face. A web person is just a random picture and a random st string of letters. Words and actions of the web program's person just are just executable code. So she's just saying her friends weren't real, they were just code. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me know if you need a break. One day, someone appeared. From that point on, my laptop was always on. There was no real people on the web, but he was good at pretending. And at some moments, I let him trick me. Hmm. Suddenly, a firefly slowly crawls out of the laptop's vent grill. I reach for it, and I get it in my palm, flicking at it a while. I think it's trying to say something. I could see that myself, if only I knew what. 
Looks like a cipher. Don't you want to crack it? I changed my mind after not to know the desire of finding out what it wants to say. The fire said, so I was glowing for a moment after that. Then it was glowing again if it's coming back to the senses. And so some time to think about further the course of those actions and flies up and dashes in my ear. Let's continue searching. What about your story? You must be mad at me in the room, sorry. If you do ever do if you do everything right, I'll finish my story. Maybe. You promise? I promise. And if you forget, then remind me. With the with the code word, for example. I'll think of one later. But for now, that's not how code word works. You think of one now, so I then if you Okay. I got another achievement, I think. Just forget it because I won't. Okay. Hold on. Um. Oh, I have a look at the amount of pills that makes me feel dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't. Let's go on. I've almost skipped my dose for today. How reckless I could have died. <laughs> hey, calm down. You've already fixed that. You'll ultimately die anyway. So why worries? Okay, I'm about to say no. <laughs> That's because you ordered me to. Things could have been much worse. Yeah. I hate with you sigh and come closer to accept my hand. Oh, it's warm. The moment those words leave my lips, one of the bottles overturns. Pillows rain down from it and along with them. A firefly, hooray. After circling above my head a couple of times, I finally lands on my palm. The firefly rushes up my arm, reaching my shoulder and crawls right into my ear. My mind becomes a little bit clearer. That's a bit clearer. Is there anything in the filing cabinet? I doubt it. The vault compartments are locked. Okay. Tuck my head backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging over the ceiling, at least 300 feet off the ground, off the floor. Are you joking? Even if it is my room, not everything here is for me to use. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. Like, totally, and I'm definitely not worried. Not even the littlest bit, not even a smidgen of the littlest bit, not even a thousandth of a percent. That's how much I don't care. Hey, I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. From this moment on, I am ignoring you. Oh no, don't you? Then act normal. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, your visual, your usual notebook pages glued on the wall with duct tape. Numbers are drawn on them and the kind of information I can take without trouble. Dosage and side effects? Yeah. I thought you knew them by heart. Yeah. This is not your handwriting, is it? Of course it's not. Shaky, broken lines, ugly numbers. It's not the writing you... It's more like claw marks. Don't forget to thank your mom. I don't need your advice. My screams make the rate rustle, and after a moment a firefly appears from underneath one of them. After looking around for the business in a business-like manner, it takes off in the business-like flight and ends up entering my business-like ear. <laughs> Hey, let's continue searching. No, I'm not done yet. I look down. I think there was multiple. There was more than like three fireflies. Oh, they're getting looks like a full belly. And it's... What a cool image! I need to remember this. Nothing special, mostly just all sorts of books. I've taken out all pens and notebooks out of there and I'm not interested in anything else. You used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. Are you, sh are you sure you understood my question? Do you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom while well, you're wrong? Alright, alright. What did you like most there? Hmm. Well, the rooms were usually bright, not like at home. Don't rush me, I'll remember it. Well, the beds were a lot soft and the food was nice. By the way, I attended all the classes that others always skipped. They probably got told off so hard. I smiled gently, absorbed my warm memories. You never graduated, though. Yeah. Do you remember your last day there? It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. He told me that I was already too old to go for school curriculum. I also realized that some time ago, the tasks were too easy, or way too easy. Then I got into the car and went home, Mom greeted us there, we had dinner and went to our rooms. I don't remember, and if it doesn't, doesn't even matter, 
tell me about it again. If your men are that bad, please. Okay, fine. That day, Dad picked me up from school earlier, explained that I had to, that I need to grow up. It's not like I can completely grasp what he meant. Either way, he, I didn't resist. We got in the car and went home. Mom greeted us there, and we had dinner together. Went to our separate rooms, satisfied. Did she get expelled or something? Uh, tell me again. Dad dragged me out of the school building while scratching and biting. The teachers didn't want to interfere. That scene was ordinary for them. Who knows what the little brat has done. Then he pushed me into the car and we drove home in a complete silence. Mom greeted us there and we had dinner together and we went to our separate rooms. Please let's not discuss this further. No, you'll tell me again. Okay, so having her tell me over and over again, she's slowly... Dad br brought milk on, the, on our way home. Again, I hate milk so much. Mom was not home. Again. No fucking way. Bro, no way. What happened hey, next? <laughs> no, dude, I hate chat. I just saw it. I, I just showed Gabe a video of a, a horse running on water. It was a moose. A moose. They called him Mooses. Oh my god. 63 <laughs> hours, Nathan. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, I feel someone's eyes on my back, knowing that the moments will never be ignored, and I turned around. There's nothing there. What happened next? Everything that happened next happened after something, and it led to everything that happened, and then after that, what happened had happened. Looked at my bag again, a light pouring out of the room, something as I look glimpse in the middle parts. And then there's a small shadow underneath it. Which meant it's really it's real sadly. Whatever, I don't care anyway. I always end up kicking the bag in a fit of sudden anger, but I managed to stop myself from in the nick of time. I move even I manage the whole picture will collapse and I go blind. It has already happened countless times. What do you mean you go blind? I spent months memorizing the location of every item in my room. That's why I can see them so clearly and visibly. You won't get it. Look at your feet. I look down and see their smallest insect come crawling towards my bag. It's barely glowing and it can't even fly. I guess this firelight is really tired. I bent down to pick it up. The firelight starts glowing brightly as soon as I touch it and it flies up. There you go, boy. Good job. After doing a victory lap around the room, it flies towards me at high speed. I shut my eyes and just bidding the firefly to enter my ear. That's exactly what happens. After the time after it gets inside, a little buzzing of a little well, then it goes silent. This one's kind of sad. I wonder why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that there's no longer alone. Sure, let's continue searching. This is my sketchbook. Half of the pages are blank, blank, which means I still have a good couple of years. You draw that rarely, why? Isn't it obvious I would, if I run out of pages, I'll have to buy a new sketchbook. I can't get in this stationary, stationary store on foot. I'll have to take a box. Do you even realize what kind of nightmare that could turn into? Yeah. By what? Ask whom? Can you even form coherent sentences? Don't play dumb, ask your mom to buy you a notebook instead. Instead, you, you want me to perform a string of actions, but you are telling me to do to do one instead of the other. Then how would you decide which action to take? You're so dyslexic. Man, this is your one tough case. No, no. You lack empathy, is it my fault? I get closer to the scuffbook sticking over the wires, and the sleeping bag, and the cracks of the lamp lint. Lamp, laminate. And the window's reflection. I sketch really laying on the school. My height, it seems like... It... 
This stool stood is missing two legs. I spot look over in this place. <laughs> These animators. Hey, yo! <laughs> no, 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 just look at it like, like 50 seconds ago. Yeah, we want to make this kind of fun, don't we? Smash it. Oh, let's not go there, okay. I sent him some disasters inches away. The pages are pure white, and the last drawing is buried <laughs> up in the page. The way it should be. Too bad, I'd love to see it. Maybe next time. Oh no, I shut my eyes. And this is the sound of the pages turning. I gives him my with a headache, and I know it's going to happen. The rustling has stopped, even though the wind is still howling in the different direction. I mean, the only one thing that's going to open to the first one on the first page. If I wait a little longer, the wind will close that. I won't have to look and I, and I wait a little longer. If I wait, open your eyes. No, just do it. No way, I know you're lying. Calm down. No, calm down. No, calm down. Hey! Calm down. Fine. I open my eyes with up caution. The, let me finish this first ending of the game. God damn it! Jake is watching porn. Game is playing game. I'm trying to do some fucking trucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that was recorded. <laughs> Nathan, I'm so glad that was recorded because it's on my stream now. <laughs> Did I imagine it? I don't know what. You're the smart one here. You tell me next time. Don't close your eyes. What did you do? Let's see again. The pages moving in. Don't close your eyes. I'm scared. Trust me. The rustling grows louder. The pages lift, and I can only see the outlines of the drawings from previous pages. No, wait. Everything that is in the past should stay in the past. You couldn't convince me. That's it. I'm closing my eyes. Look, look there. A firefly. Hey! I told you there was gonna be a firefly in there. Goodness gracious, little boy. He made, oh, shit, yeah, okay. so scared. The firefly blinks, flies up, and enters my ear, buzzing loudly all the way. It spends some of the looking... Okay. Pew, are you okay? We're running short on time, so let's continue searching. I think I found all the fireflies. Of course Jake's watching porn. I don't know why you guys Yeah. And, and Jake's in game streaming. A bag inside of a, a bag outside of a bag outside of a. No, th no, this is the second game, and I bought it. It was on sale. This has five endings. <laughs> you found all the fireflies. Amazing, I guess. Let me get my socks on.
fuck that, it'll catch it. I'll catch it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. It's like, yeah, but if I'm actually tired, I'll probably just keep playing. Uh, if I lose something, it's, and then find it, it's just going to go back to the starting point. Nothing changes at all, it's zero sum. Be a cause for break. You should. You shouldn't think too much. It hurts you. I want to sleep. Yeah. I want to sleep too, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna get some fresh air before I sleep. What do you mean? I'll go on the God balcony. Damn. Oh, well, I've got to end this stream, then. Hey!